being a mermaid takes three things. Uh, you have to believe in magic. Um, you have to really work on your swimming skills and always stay true to your heart and you'll find a way to be a mermaid. <laughs> Jessica, welcome to Yoruzi. It's just absolutely great to have you here with us at Yoruzi Chat Chat today. Hi, thank you for having me. I'm excited to be here. Okay, how are you doing today? I'm doing pretty good. And how are you guys doing over there? Uh, amazing. <laughs> okay, so I'll just get started with the questions. Sure, let's so, go. So, your Instagram account it mentions that you're a professional mermaid. So how did your family react to that when you told them that you're going to take up a job in this human world? Well, they definitely wondered why I would ever want to be on land. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But uh, my my real family, uh, at first I thought it was really cool until they realized that uh, being a mermaid meant I was binding my legs together and throwing myself in the pool. And then they're like, I think you're crazy and we really don't want you to drown. <laughs> But I think at this point, they've gone back to thinking it's cool again. <laughs> That's amazing. I mean, it is pretty cool. You have to acknowledge that. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay. So on Instagram, all of your underwater mermaid videos are like really popular and they look so cool. So can you tell us a little bit about how you started and how does it feel like to have fans who like really appreciate the work and the content that you put out right now? Uh, it, it's pretty incredible. I keep on forgetting that people think that I'm cool. And so I keep, so people are like, when they tell me like how they react to things, I'm like, oh, me? You, you mean me? <laughs> um, but I really, I didn't get into mermaids until I was in my mid twenties. They weren't even on my radar for a long time. Uh, I was trying to be a dance instructor actually. And I had, uh, a pretty messy falling out with the person I thought was going to be my dance partner. And it was then that a mermaid swam across my Facebook feed. And it didn't take much research after that point to realize I wanted to do it. And the rest is kind of history. <laughs> I mean, it is pretty cool. I think you should just own being extremely cool. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Ally, like, how, how, how does it feel to like have people actually appreciate your work, you know, like being able to put out your work and actually have people, you know, show your appreciation for it? it it's, it's just really cool. Uh, I don't really know how else to say it. I never thought that this is going to be a big thing. I thought I was just going to be swimming in my backyard forever and everything's been blowing up and it, it, it just, it keeps on stunning me. Just how, how far this path has taken me. <laughs> Okay, so uh, you have showcased your mermaid skills in various settings from like birthday parties to events to festivals. You've done so much. <laughs> so what was one of your favorite settings or events that you've been to? Oh gosh, it's hard to say. Uh, I mean, I love all of it, but I think festivals is really where I, I feel myself the most. Um, normally at a festival, they tell us that uh, they don't want mermaids to talk, so we have to chirp and click at people. And I think by removing the dialogue, I feel like I'm more in touch with myself and I'm just open to play and experiment and it really draws in the crowd more too. Okay, so, do you have any specific experience that you had during a festival that you'd like to share something? Gosh, um, <laughs> I don't know, every, every interaction I have during all of those times is just so unique and, magic i mean for me and for the crowd um <laughs> i think like i had just recently um at the very last festival i was at there was a group of kids that just hung out around the tank for a while and they kind of caught on that i was mimicking them so then they started giving me things to mimic and it was a lot of it was a lot of fun like they would like do a dance move and well i don't really have legs so i would like try to do it back and Oh, I had this one girl that, um, so my character thinks everything on your head is a hat. And that's the one word that she knows is hat. So I had this one girl come up 
who was who had glasses on and I was like hot she's like no glasses glass I'm like glass she's like says says she's like glasses I'm like hat <laughs> it was a lot of fun I think that was just recently this is like fun little bits like that <laughs> Okay, so you are also a member of the Ohio Mermaids. Can you tell us a little bit more about this group and what kind of activities you guys do together? Sure. Uh, so the Ohio Mermaids is two things, uh, really. First and foremost, uh, they are a company that brings in gigs. So we'll get someone that says, I live here. I'm looking for a mermaid that looks like this and this is the day I need them on. And we'll say, okay, of our group of mermaids to, that perform together, who fits at the best, who's available? And we're able to kind of spread out the gigs more evenly that way. Um, and I think there's a lot of power in numbers too. So the fact that there's a couple of us uh, draws people in more. But the other thing is, it's just a really close group of girls that I'm really close with. They're all incredible. And I kind of feel like they're my family a little bit. So we uh, we were stationed all over the state of Ohio. Um, we have one person in Columbus. We've got one, per two people that are really far north in Cleveland and a couple of people that are kind of scattered around the in-between, so. Okay, well, that's amazing. I mean, it's great to have community of people who understand and support you. And yeah. obviously it's very important as well. Uh, okay, so uh, would you like to share some of your favorite moments from work, you know, which made you think that, you know, this is exactly what I wanted. This is exactly the job that was made for me. Let's see, there's so many. It's, it's so hard to pick. Um, I think the very first time I ever put on my professional tail was probably the moment that I realized this job was for me. Uh, I had rented out a hotel with a couple of friends to use their pool to try it on at. And I didn't really know what I was doing. And there's a lot of screaming and grunting trying to get it on the first time. Uh, it was a lot of work. And it finally got on my body. And the very second, I was like, huh, I'm done. Kids just started pouring into the pool area. I didn't know anyone was going to be there. And of course, they're all mermaid, mermaid. I had never done any of this before. I didn't know what I was doing. I didn't have a mermaid name. But of course, they came packed with questions. So. I just kind of jumped into some kind of character and just kind of came up with a bunch of answers on the fly. And I think a lot of that stuck with who my character is now. <laughs> but I think that whirlwind experience of just performing on the fly like that, at the end I sat back, I was like, yeah, yeah, this is, this is made for me. <laughs> That sounds amazing. It's like it's perfect that you just found your calling the first time that you, you know, performed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so big questions, okay? As a mermaid, do you eat fish? <laughs> yeah, so seafood is definitely a guilty pleasure. Um, I, I do like seafood. I do eat fish, but my character does too. She's an omnivore. I kind of wrote her that way because there's... Um, I wanted to make her more believable and there's... Um, a lot of problems with uh, invasive species in our local water. So I wanted to make sure that she had something to talk about that had to do with the problem with our zebra and quagga mussels going on in Lake Erie over here. So she eats them. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what would be your advice for young girls or people who just want to be mermaids when they grow up? Well, being a mermaid takes three things. Uh, you have to believe in magic. Um, you have to really work on your swimming skills and always stay true to your heart and you'll find a way to be a mermaid. <laughs> that sounds like great advice. <laughs> okay, so um, we've all seen like your Instagram pictures and videos where you're dressed up as a mermaid in like a lot of different settings. Is it like weird, unusual, difficult, uncomfortable for you to carry all of this gear with you all the time? So I definitely don't carry it with me most of the time for that exact reason. The tail itself, um, mermaid tails in general weigh between 20 and 60 pounds. Okay. My heaviest is 42 and my lightest is in the 30s. So you pack that and it's really big. So it takes a really big suitcase. You put all your stuff in it with it. You have like a really heavy suitcase, takes up a lot of space. So I feel like 
if I'm going on a mermaid adventure, I have to plan ahead. Where am I going? How long am I going to be here? How am I going to get my gear there? Are there stairs? Do I have to hike to get there? How am I going to transport all the stuff? So it's definitely not random. It's all very planned. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. It sounds like a lot of effort as well. Yeah. Things we do for love. <laughs> Things we do for love. I'm told constantly that being a mermaid must be so glamorous. And the reality is it's it's not glamorous. I wouldn't give it up for anything, but it is not glamorous. <laughs> I mean, from the outside, it does look like an amazing, glamorous, and such a good thing. <laughs> well, that means we're doing our job. Yeah, and you're doing it really well. Thank you. Okay, so uh, let's just do like a few rapid fire questions where, you know, like you just sure. answer from off the top of your head. That'd be fun. Oh, sure. Let's okay, go. So, so quick five, okay? okay? So uh, five things you would right now be doing if you weren't a mermaid. Um, I'd probably play more video games. <laughs> um, I'd probably be focusing more on cosplay because I still like to dress up. Um, my house would be a lot cleaner. I'd have a lot more time to clean my house. <laughs> um, I'd probably be following some other creative career, like face painting or something. And I think I'd probably be dancing more too. Uh, five reason you love being a mermaid. Um, I love creating, be that writing for my character or uh, making pieces or costumes or just anything that I'm creating, like movement wise. Um, all the things that mermaiding has led me to, to learn. Uh, there's so many weird things I never would have thought of uh, picking up if mermaiding hadn't led me to them. Uh, connecting with all kinds of people, like just all the people I've met through doing this is really cool. Um, and connecting with my community, for sure. There's a huge community of merfolk. They, you just don't know it yet. <laughs> and um, I really just like being an inspiration for people and making people happy. Yeah, I mean, isn't that the most important thing? Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, okay. So uh, five things people have told you about your life as a mermaid, like what people think about you being a mermaid. Sure. Um, People have told me they want to do what I do. I get that one a lot. Um, they have no idea how I do what I do, and it looks really hard. Um, that I'm some kind of goddess, and by existing, uh, I'm reminding people that they're beautiful too. Um, that I've been told many times that uh, I'm a whale, and that I'm unfit to be around children because of my weight, which is kind of funny that people continue to say that <laughs> like it's just dumb you know, it really is but like am I really such a threat like do you do you really have nothing better to do <laughs> um and I guess going back to what I said before people tell me that the mermaid life is glamorous <laughs> I mean it is it is an amazing life to live I would understand <laughs> why people are so jealous of you <laughs> gosh thank you okay so what are your five favorite things to do well, I dance for sure, um, travel, um, I like to make art, um, I really like to garden, I have a little garden that I really like that's in my living space, and um, napping. There's really nothing quite better than just sitting back and relaxing and just taking in everything. <laughs> I completely agree. Yeah. <laughs> okay, uh, you just said you love traveling. What are five places that you would love to visit? Um, oh gosh, I can't remember the name of this one place, but it's like a park that's underwater some, sometimes. Like there's park benches and bridges and stuff, and this mountain just like floods it and you can go and scuba through it. Um, that place. <laughs> <laughs> um, there's, um, there's a place in Belgium called... Uh, toady diving and it's like an indoor dive place that has like its own uh coral reef and everything down there you can go and swim in i really want to visit that and along the same lines uh there's a place called deep dive dubai that i've always really wanted to visit um the florida springs uh here in the u.s uh i hear are gorgeous and i really want to dive there too um i think that's four 
uh, oh, and there's this uh, lake that I haven't been to that's really nearby called Torch Lake, and it's got really clear water right here. I want to visit that one too. So, lots of water in my future. <laughs> I love how all the places you want to visit are water related. It's just perfect. <laughs> the personality. Tell me you're a mermaid without telling me you're a mermaid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, so uh, what more can we expect from your Instagram in the future? Well, um, right now it's cold here, so it makes it hard to get content this time of year, but I've been thinking I might start doing more sketches between my mermaid character and the people that I live with in my apartment and just doing some silly stuff. So you might see some of that coming about the next month or so. Look at that sounds funny and amazing and we'll be excited for that. <laughs> so um, before we close this interview, what would be your message for our audience? You know, this is just a really weird time we're living in. And there's lots of hurdles everywhere, but no matter what you're facing, keep on swimming. Just keep on swimming. That is such a great thing to say. <laughs> such a great message. <laughs> Thank you so much for having this amazing discussion with us. I mean, it has been our pleasure. <laughs> so on that note, I would bring this session of Yoruzi Chat Chat to an end. Thank you so much for being with us. It has been an amazing time. It was fantastic. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>